guys, spring is here and the dreaded winter is gone. That means we can all be outdoors now. So yeah, I'll let you know where I'm going. Let's go. come out because the weather is a little bearable although it's super windy and I'm literally standing right by the side of a drive through yeah there are all cars here I think I'm the only one walking in the suburbs here but I'm actually heading to my nearest plaza I'm going to go to Starbucks I've got my big MacBook here so yeah recently I bought the 16 inch M1 Max MacBook Pro which is very difficult to carry but otherwise it's like a beast of a laptop but anyways I'm just finding a Starbucks here and then I'll sit and talk about something really exciting and that's why I wanted to come out as well because now that summers are over which only means lots of sunshine and also beach now it's time to actually plan all my travel for the summer 2022 so okay first let me just get in and get some coffee Okay, so I got my coffee and now I can chat. So I really wanted to plan my travel with you guys. Especially with travel, you have to plan so much in advance because otherwise you won't even get anything when you're booking anything. But okay, let me just change the spot because I don't want to disturb them. They're studying in the background. So I'll just go on the other table. Okay, this is a better place. So what I wanted to discuss with you is my travel plans. So I have a couple of them. I don't know if you remember last year I did mention I want to go for a solo trip and yes I will be going for a solo trip this year. I don't know the places yet but I'm thinking US but you have to tell me guys where should I go in US east coast or west coast and the second thing I want to do is like explore some cool cottages here in Ontario as well. If you've seen my treehouse video from Muskoka I enjoyed it so much that I really want to explore some cool Airbnbs here and the third thing is I really want to travel somewhere with Saranch as well and we are thinking somewhere in Europe I've never been to any place in Europe at all and even I guess Saranch so it'll be a first time so need your recommendations there too and another one which is so last minute Saranch is actually going to Whistler for his work trip and I thought maybe I should go as well and explore Whistler well obviously I won't be able to accompany him because it's his work trip he's going to be with his colleagues and everyone but I can always go by myself and explore Whistler in summer for two or three days so let me know if I should do that or if not Whistler maybe I can go to Vancouver what do you suggest I'm actually confused not sure so yeah let me know in the comment section below where do you want me to go in US here in Ontario in Canada or even in Europe and with that I have to plan so many things my flights my accommodation uh, there's a lot I'll start looking at places at least for my solo travels I need to explore all of that all by myself this is the first time I'll ever go for a solo trip and I'm super super excited also guys if you travel a lot and also work from cafes like me I know we're all working from home and for a change we all like to come at cafes I really want to inform you about a service that I'm really excited to partner with and that I personally use as well it's called Surfshark so Surfshark is a VPN an easy to use app or browser extension that allows you to change your IP address and use the internet as if you are in a different country also, it encrypts your data for privacy that will save you from hackers. And the reason I like using Surfshark is that you really feel safe while using public Wi-Fi, be it at cafes or at the airports. And especially nowadays that we have all of the information online with our banking information, our social media passwords and everything. And even if you're booking your next flight and don't want the websites to show you the prices according to your location, this comes in handy to get the best deals. Also, it connects to unlimited devices to your account, which is pretty nice. 
and the biggest reason why I love using is because I can easily change my virtual location to another country to watch a Netflix show, Hotstar, Z5 that I can't have access in my country. Like I can pick India and watch all the Indian shows. Also, they do offer 30 day money back guarantee as well. So there's no risk for you to try it by yourself. And also it's pretty affordable. So if you want to get all these advantages and want to support the channel, you can sign up on Surfshark using my coupon code Peekapoo and you'll get 83% off with three extra months free. So thank you again Surfshark for sponsoring today's video and now back to the video. <laughs> So guys, I actually spent a couple of hours here at Starbucks. It was a really productive day. And now I'm thinking, now that I'm already out, I'm thinking to go to the nearest Winners and Home Sense. But before that, I need to actually get rid of this huge bag. Okay, now it's so much better. I just have my bag. And this is how you need to be when you're shopping, not with a big, laptop around so now this time i'm not going to walk i'm just going to wait for the bus also the best part about my house is bus stop is just right in front i step out of my house that's the bus stand so yeah pretty convenient till the time we don't have our car okay you know what it's been 15 minutes that i've been standing here let's just walk Tired. This was a long walk, but another five minutes. Okay, so this is a huge home sense. I've only shopped at home sense in downtown, so this seems like a luxury to be honest. And also, guys, masks are completely off now, so you can obviously go inside, shop around without mask. But I don't know how I feel about it still. Sometimes I'm gonna wear it. Sometimes I don't want to. It's kind of in between for me now. But anyways, let's go to Home Sense now. I'm so excited. Check this one out. I really like this mirror. Okay, for the first time it has happened, I did not find anything. Maybe because my mind is so crowded with bigger things like washing machine, dishwasher that is still yet to come. So yeah, that's why with these smaller things of decoration and everything, I think now is not a good time. Maybe I'll come again later. But yeah, this definitely, this winners, this home sense is huge. They have huge furniture pieces here as well. Wow. <laughs> Okay, so I didn't find anything at home sense. The best thing is this is very near to my place so I can always come in again. But I also had plans to go to a walk-in clinic today because I've been experiencing some skin allergy. And since my family doctor is in Toronto, I have to find one here. So I just found this one. Oh, but it seems like it's closed. Don't tell me. Yeah, it's closed. We'll have to come back again. Okay, now I'm thinking what to do. Coming out again was not so productive. But now that I'm already in the market, I see this Indian grocery store. And let me see if I need to pick anything up. Yeah, Maggie's over. I'm gonna pick that up. Or see if they have something interesting in the grocery store. Let's go. Okay, now I'm just heading back because it's getting cold. So I've got all my things and I'll actually show you what I got from the Indian grocery store. I got some snack also, which I've not seen here in Canada. Maybe it's available at the Indian grocery stores, but I've not seen that very often. So I'll have that, really excited because I used to love that back in India. But now I'm again at this bus stop here, waiting for the bus. It should be here in another five minutes and then we'll go home and meet Saranj. He must be free from his work too. Just got the bus. I could have walked as well because it's a very short distance. But since I've walked a lot today, I thought I'll just take a quick ride. It's literally two stops. I'm walking like a free bird on the main highway. Whenever I'm walking, I don't know why are all the people in the car staring at me. 
because I think I'm the only one walking in the suburbs <laughs> and also with this huge camera it's funny finally I'm home all right I'm back now let me show you what I got I don't have anything interesting except one thing which I'll show you but yeah I just got the essentials paneer Saranj's favorite he has been asking for paneer all the time I so. love it yeah I had to get this and some masalas were over just I got this MDH chunky chaat masala this masala and what else I also got Maggi they did not have the plain ones so I got the Atta noodles and oh actually I got two things so they have these fresh parathas oh. every day that they get so I just got gobi paratha this is not the frozen one but the fresh ones that they get so I was like, okay, let me just try it. I've never tried these ones before and I'm really excited to. And also it's the weekend that's coming. So we can have calls, parathas in the morning. Absolutely, weekend calls for a gobi paratha. Yeah. And the thing that I was excited for is Thokla, guys. I have not seen Thokla anywhere here. Actually, I've not been to a lot of Indian grocery stores anyway. There was one in downtown that I used to go to and there I did not get this. And I'm really excited to have this as a snack right now. So let me just open this up. How's it? It's not good. I was so excited for this, but this is so dry. Anyways, now that I've got it, I'll eat it, but it's not good, guys. Hmm. I don't like to use harsh words, but this is pathetic. It's so dry. It seems kind of old. I can't even swallow. You should have go got it from some sweet shop where they prepare fresh dhoklas. I didn't go for dhokla. I just saw that Indian grocery store. And I saw this, I thought maybe they'll have samosa or something, I'll get that. But then they just had this, but... Anyways, it's okay. The flop scene. Yeah. Also, something new that I wanted to try is this. I've seen this Starbucks double shot coffee so many times in the grocery store. Every time I pass by this drink, I'm always curious how it tastes. Have you tried this one? Let me know in the comment section below if you have. But now it's my time to try this. This is actually a double shot. So it's going to be strong. Ooh. Wow, this is so good. Really tasty. But it doesn't seem like a double shot. It's not that strong. Maybe I'm just, I don't know. I really love strong coffee. So don't get scared by this double shot. It's actually not that bad. Cheers. So that's it guys for today's vlog. I'm sure we're all done with winter and I'm so happy that spring is here and I can't wait for summer 2022.